My name is Katie Stahl. I am a bioinformatics software developer for Nationwide Children's Hospital and Alex Wagner's lab. Today, I'm going to talk about creating cloud-based notebooks for exploring the GA4GH verse standard. To get started, let's cover what the variant representation specification, commonly referred to as verse, is. VERSE is a specification developed by the members of the Global Alliance for Genomics and Health for the standardization of the exchange of variation data. It suggests an algorithm for computing globally unique identifiers to promote consistent variation representation and sharing. Its current implemented schema supports JSON, which is a common machine and human readable schema. And eventually, Verse will support additional schema types such as XML, OpenAPI, and GraphQL. Additionally, there is an open source Python package for anyone interested to implement Verse in their applications. So you may be wondering, why is Verse important? Why should you care about it? What's it used for? Well, with Verse, you can translate to and from commonly used variant representations using Verse identifiers. The currently supported variant representations are HGVS, Speedy, and VCF. Using verse identifiers also allows precise annotation and simplified lookup values for federated data from knowledge bases. You can take advantage of these features by implementing our open source Python package called Verse Python in your applications. Let's dive into Verse Python a little more. This package implements models defined in Verse and supports the translation of these models into other representations, as I mentioned before, such as HGVS, Speedy, and VCF. Additionally, there are Jupyter notebooks that allow a user to explore the Verse standard before adopting it. Formerly, to set up and use Verse Python notebooks, users would have to have local running instances of Seek Repo and UCA database, and setup was a laborious task. These steps for setup were technologically complex, documentation was only produced for Mac OS, and the time to set up Seek Repo and UTA would take 10 or more hours in a best case scenario, assuming no errors were run into during the installation or setup process. This provided a sizable barrier for any interested parties of Verse to get involved and start to use it. So what do we do to fix it? To overcome the barriers for introduction to Verse, we developed cloud-based notebooks to educate potential adopters. We eliminated the need for users to have locally running instances of Seek Repo and UTA by hosting those dependencies on AWS Beanstalk apps on EC2 instances. Verse Python now uses a REST data proxy to retrieve information from Seek Repo and an additional REST data proxy to retrieve the needed information from UTA from our lab's variation normalizer. Verse Python's Jupyter notebooks are hosted by a third party called Binder, where a user can go directly to and explore the notebooks with no installation required. Or, if a user would prefer to run the notebooks locally, they are able to clone the Verse Python GitHub repo, build it, and run it, which only takes three steps and around 30 seconds, which is a vast improvement over the previous 10 hours and 30 plus steps. And using the cloud-based notebooks is simple. Visit the binder URL listed, select any notebook, select Verse Kernel, as shown in the image, and then you're free to explore. Here's an example of what one of the notebooks looks like. This specific notebook enables a user to edit the code to translate to and from HGVS. This is only one of many capabilities built into the notebooks. Additionally, users are able to add their own cells and write their own Verse Python code and view the output by running the cells. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge all of the people listed on this slide and thank them for their help in making the cloud-based notebooks possible. If you have any questions, send me an email at katherine.stahl at nationwidechildrens.org. Or if you're interested in getting involved in development of Verse, learning more about Verse, or to access the Verse Python notebooks, scan this QR code or visit the URL listed at the bottom of this slide.